switch gears here in other news. Azimio Laumoja leader Ray Lodinga has asked his supporters to resist what he claims is an attempt by President William Ruto to constitute an electoral commission that will favor his re-election bid in 2027. Now, Odinga, while opposing the IBC Amendment Act 2022 that outlines the formation of a selection panel that will recruit new IBC commissioners to replace a former chairman of Fula Chebukati, Boya Molu and Yakub Gulie, whose term expired, and the trio of Juliana Cherera, Francis Wanderi, and Justice Nyangaya, who resigned, said there would be no need to hold a general election in 2027 if issues raised about the August 2022 polls are not resolved. As our very own Francis Gashuri reports, President Ruto has dismissed Odinga's claims, claiming or terming them an attempt to arm twist him into a power-sharing deal. Take a listen. Lali. 72 hours after his return from South Africa and a declaration that he does not recognize President William Ruto's administration, Azimio Laumoja leader Rai Laudinga turned his attention to the process of recruiting six new IBC commissioners. Addressing grassroots leaders from 17 constituencies in Nairobi County, Odinga accused Ruto of a ploy to recruit a favorable referee for his 2027 re election bid. <laughs> Akuta kwenda haja ya watu kwenda kwa uchaguzi tena 2027. On Monday, the president signed into law the IEBC Amendment Bill 2022 that outlines the process of recruiting new commissioners in the electoral body after the expiry of Wafula Chabukati's six-year tenure as IEBC chairman, alongside former commissioners Boya Molu and Abdi Yakub Gulie, three commissioners Juliana Cherera, Justice Nyangaya and Francis Wanderi resigned to avoid facing a tribunal chaired by appellate judge Agri Muchelule, while Irene Masit is waiting to know her verdict after opting to fight for her job. The new law allocates two slots each in the selection panel to the Parliamentary Service Commission and the Interreligious Council, while the Public Service Commission, the Political Party's Liaison Committee, and the Law Society of Kenya will nominate one member each to the panel, a panel Odinga considers skewed in the President's favor. Odinga has maintained that he does not recognize Ruto's presidency and asked his supporters to disregard the Kenya Kwanzaa administration, a declaration the head of state laughed off on Monday. And I want to say this without fear of contradiction. Let foreign countries don't interfere in Kenya's internal affairs. Yeah. Kenyans must be able to come up with the leadership that they want. Yes. Kenyans must elect leaders that they want. Yes. What we have today are leaders that are imposed on the people of Kenya by a very corrupt electoral commission. Yes. And this is totally unacceptable. Yes. That's why we are saying no. Siata mubadilishe tactic kidogo. Sasa ile ya zamani munaendelea tunaye. Ile ya zamani mulikisema ati moi hako shinda, moi ya kakua rais. Mukasema kibaki hako shinda, kibaki ya kakua rais. Mukasema uhuru hako shinda, uhuru ya kakua rais. Sasa mutawezana na iya hasa na kweli. The Azimio leader has asked his supporters to convene at the Jakaranda grounds on Sunday for a public rally and further directions. Natawa kuwana kama wa siku uji mapili. Kiwanja imejaa, alamu tutatangaza mpango ingini. Kiti ya baba ni state house. Na diyo nasikia kwa sababu wanastuka wanaanza kusema oo, oh, tunatawa kutekeneza kiti ya position, tunajua kiti yetu pali, iko. Na hata hile mandamano wamekua kiongea juyaki, kila, ma, kila mara. Hile mandamano wamekua kitajaneza kila mara, inakuja. Na inakuja hivi karibuni. Hawa watu, hakuna kitu wanataka. Hii ni watu wanapanga tu mambo ya nusumukate. Siju wanatafuta handshake. Mimi nataka ni wambie mapema mchana. My friends, 
sahau mambo ya handshake sasa mnafikiri mnaweza kunipangia mimi ati maandamano ati mpate chochote kutoka kwangu you are dreaming Francis Gashuri Citizen TV and still on President Ruto the president has